Hi, I'm Pastor Lynn Smith, Interim Pastor at Shepherd's Heart Fellowship. During the next few sessions, we're going to introduce a concept called Holy Humor. Most of uh, what I'm going to be sharing with you comes from a book written by Cal and Rose Samra entitled Holy Humor. And uh, these stories come from pastors, from ministers, priests, a wide denominational background, and even from many different countries around the world. These are all true stories, and I hope that you'll find these enjoyable and informative. first story that I'd like to share with you comes from Dublin, Ireland, and the Reverend Sidney Lang got tired of people giving the same excuses who don't attend worship services. And one day, Pastor Sidney Lang of Dublin, Ireland was sort of just about out of his mind, and he decided to write 10 reasons why I never wash. I was made to wash as a child. Those people who wash are hypocrites. They reckon they are cleaner than other people. There are so many different kinds of soap. I could never decide which one was right. I used to wash, but it got so boring that I stopped. I want you to know that I still do wash on special occasions, like Easter and Christmas. None of my friends ever wash. I'm too young. When I'm older and got a bit dirtier, I just might start washing then. I really don't have time to wash. The bathroom is never warm enough. Those people who make soap are only after your money. From Dublin, Ireland. And another short story that I'll share with you is that what happens when a pastor gets called to a new congregation or parish. And this story comes from Ronald H. Weinhart, a Lutheran pastor from McDonough, Georgia. On his very first day in office, a new pastor got a call from his predecessor in office. He congratulated him on his new charge and told him that in the center drawer of his desk, he had left three envelopes, all numbered, which he was to open in order if he ever got in trouble. After a short-lived honeymoon with the congregation, the heat began to rise, and the minister decided to open the first envelope. His predecessor advised him, blame me for the problem. After all, I'm long gone and have problems of my own, and if it will help, point out my shortcomings as the reason things are bad. Well, that did work for a while, but then things got sour again. Pastor opened the second envelope, which read, Blame the denomination. They're big and rich. They can take it. Well, that worked for a while, but then the storm clouds gathered again, and in desperation, the pastor went to the drawer and opened the third envelope. It said, quote, Prepare three envelopes. I hope you've enjoyed these uh, two stories. I'll be sharing others in coming weeks. We do invite you to come and wa wash. No, no, I don't mean wash. I mean worship with us at Shepherd's Heart Fellowship. We have life application classes that begin at 9 a.m. and regular worship at 10 a.m. Sunday morning. Have a super day.